My dear students, welcome again in English 810 for the Vocational Education Studies. We're going to have Unit 6 today, lesson number 5, which is write a description. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to identify sensory details, to identify the layout of a description of a place and to describe a place using sensory details. Before I start, let me ask you a question, a very easy and I'm so sure that you all know the answer. What are the five senses? You need a hint? I'll help you. Seeing, using the eyes. What else? Let's see them together. Looks, like things you see. Sound, things you hear. Smell, things you smell. Taste, things you taste. And finally, feel, things that you feel or you touch. Do you think the five senses are essential in describing something? Is it? Well, the answer is yes. If you want to describe somewhere, a place or anything, the five senses are essential or they're important. Why do you think they're important? Because they help the reader, the one who is going to read your description, will help him see, hear, feel, touch or even taste what you are describing. So, sensory details make your description come alive. Once you describe something, for example, if you want to say the museum has magnificent views, he will imagine. So the description comes alive. Now, let's do a very simple task together. I'll ask you to classify the, blue, the below items into the right place. Look at the blue box. It has a couple of expressions or let's say words. I want you to classify them according to the five senses. Speak in French, sweet, hot sun, barbecue, breeze, and sparkling water. Think about them and classify them according to the senses. Let's see the answers together, my dear students. There you go. The look, we could say sparkling water, because when you write sparkling water, it's something that you can see when describing. But regarding the sound, when someone speaks in French, you will listen to him speaking. So yes, it's classified under the sound. Moreover, barbecue. When there's barbecue, it could be in two senses. Pay attention. It could be in the smell and in the taste, as it is mentioned below. Also, sweet. When I say sweet, it's definitely classified in the taste sense. Last but not least, hot sun or breeze. It is classified under the feeling senses because when there is hot sun, you feel that it's hot. Now, before I move to the second objective, which is the layout of writing a description, I will ask you, what are the main parts in any writing? Can you think with me? Let's see. There is, of course, an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. But the content is different from a writing to another. Here we have writing a description. So, the introduction, you will mention some points uh, related to describing a place or anywhere. Let's see. What you need to do is you will give a brief introduction about the place that you will describe. For example, let's imagine you're going to describe Bahrain Museum. What is the name of the place? You will simply say Bahrain Museum. The location, which means where is it located? It's located, for example, in Manama and Isa town and wherever. It's not like not only the Bahrain Museum that we are talking about here, anything. It depends on the location of the place that you're going to describe. 
And then, why are you there? Did you visit uh, Bahrain Museum because it's a school trip? Because you want to learn more about the historical places in Bahrain? Or maybe you want to spend your weekend there? Then, you move to the body, as you can see here. Here is very essential and important that you mention details, adjectives, and sensory details, like the one we spoke about previously. Let's see. You have to include sensory details in describing any place in the body. You have to mention things related to seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. You have to mention stuff like that. Why? Because as we have previously said, we want the reader to feel what we are saying. What are we describing? Use descriptive adjectives. Let's see the example here. Great weather. Instead of just saying weather, say the great weather. Say the amazing view, the great place. Use adjectives to give more descriptive view for the reader. Last but not least, it's the conclusion. You are going to mention or finalize your feelings. You will sum up with your feelings towards this place. And if it's written in a form of a letter, here you will need to write some closing remarks. Let's see together. Now, before we do any writing, my dear students, whether it's a letter or it's an article or whatever it is, you have to do something in order to make it easier for you for further writing. What is it? Before you write, organize your ideas in any chart. It could be a flow chart, it could be any chart, but mention the things that you are going to write later in your writings. For example, here I have five aspects, five important details that I have to mention in my descriptive writing. As we have previously mentioned, the sensory details. Starting with the looks, write the things that you are going to see at the writing or uh, at the place that you are going to describe. For example, let me go back to the same example, Bahrain Museum. You're going to write at least two things that you could see there. For example, uh, historical cars or old uh, jobs, for example, was done in Bahrain. Then you move to the sounds. You could write two things that you can hear in Bahrain Museum. For example, the old traditional music or uh, because there is a uh, sea there, so you could hear the waves. Then the smells, two things that you could smell at the place. It's not necessarily a Bahrain museum, any place that you are describing. The taste, if there is food or if you can taste something, mention two points at least. Last but not least, the feels. Two things made you feel something. Write them down in your describing uh, email or article. So. What you need to do is organize your ideas in this chart and then describe. Now, we have an example here of any beach or island. These are the things that you have to mention in describing any beach or island. Let's see starting with the looks. You can see sparkling water. You can see the sand. You can hear the huge waves or you can hear music. Moreover, you can smell flowers. You can smell the barbecue. Also, regarding the taste, you could eat their fresh fruits, so you can describe the taste of the fresh fruits as well as the barbecue. Last but not least, the feels. Since you are on the beach, so you will feel the fresh air and the hot sun. You can add examples. You can write anything related to the place that you are describing. But this is a modal example that we could refer to while writing further. Now let's start. The chosen topic is describing an island. Pay attention to the rest. Describing an island to Ben in a letter. So what are we going to do now is we're going to write a letter to Ben. Ben is your friend and we will describe the island that we have gone to. Let's see. Of course, any writing will start with the introduction. Pay attention, my dear students. Let's see what are the details that I have to mention in the introduction. Hi, Ben. Since Ben is your friend, here the greeting is informal. 
Hi Ben, I just want to give you an update on my weekend. Everything is going great on the island. My family and I are having a great time. Let's move to the body. Now, here in the body, pay attention that I am going to include the five sensory details as well as adjectives to describe the actions that are, that are being taken on the island. Let's start together. What an island! This place has it all. Beautiful view. Pay attention to the word beautiful. It's a descriptive adjective. Great weather. Delicious food. My hotel is modern and it's right on the beach. The beach is one of the biggest beaches I've ever seen. Pay attention now. We're going to include the sensory details. It has sparkling sand. This is one of the things that I could see. Then huge waves. Huge waves, my dear students, could be things that I see and hear. So I'm including two senses in one expression. Moreover, and crowds of visitors from all over the world. They speak in different languages. The word speak determines the hearing sense. And then I spend my time there lying by the beach under the hot sun. Pay attention. The hot sun, of course, is representing the feeling sense. Let's move now further and see. You are still at the body, okay? Pay attention. I'm going to the second part of the body. So, there are also great restaurants in the island. The live barbecue held every night is one of my favorite parts. I am bringing the reader into live vision. He is imagining now that there is live barbecue. So, what did I say about it? Did I put it in any descriptive image? Yes, I did. I enjoy eating the spicy grilled chicken. When I say spicy grilled chicken, here I'm including the taste sense. So, the readers will feel the taste of the barbecue. Okay, let's go further and drink fresh juices. Fresh juices is also related to the senses, which is the taste. After dinner, there is a live band who play music. Okay, my dear student, once I hear the word music, it gives me uh, the feeling of uh, being there and listening to the music. So it has to do with the hearing sense. And here is the word music. I like the classic music they play. Listening to it makes me feel so relaxed. Here we are, we're talking about the feeling, which is the very important sense from the five sensory details. I also enjoy some beach activities like beach volleyball. I play with a group that I became friends with recently. So here the reader knows exactly what's going on in your weekend on the beach and he or she can take a full image, a full descriptive image uh, of the place that you were in like he's with you. Let's move to the last part, which is the conclusion. Here is where I sum up the paragraph. It's going to be hard to leave this place, but I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care, Mary, or whoever else is the name. So pay attention to take care. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. These expressions, as I have mentioned before, we use them to end up any letter. And pay attention that they are informal, which means they are sent to a friend or someone close to you. It doesn't need to be in formal language. Now, before I end this lesson, I'll ask you to write a description of any place you've recently visited. I'm sure you have recently visited, for example, a beach, a mall, a restaurant, any place. I want you to write a description about this place and please refer to your book. English 810, which is Project Success 3, page 84, for the proper structure. It will help you. Don't forget, you need to include sensory details.
We come to the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. Don't forget to refer back to the book and write a description. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.